This is Brooke Drum with vaultmultimedia.com and today on WordPress 3.0 we're going to cover some interface options that you have in WordPress. Just getting familiar with the interface, what it can do, and some easy customization to increase your workflow and efficiency. So we've already logged into WordPress and imagine this is your website. There's a few things that you need to know. We're at the dashboard which is where you go when you log in initially and there's some nice little features in WordPress. One is that when you click on the darker gray bar of a box it will collapse or expand and that is available for any of the WordPress boxes. The other thing that is nice is you can get things out of your way and organized uh, in a layout that you like by clicking on the dark bar and moving them around. So we can reorder the things in the layout here, expand and collapse them. And WordPress will remember the settings that you have. So once you get it configured the way that you like, it will stay there for you. Now we're still on the dashboard here, and there are some things that I don't necessarily want to see all the time. So the interfaces of the different screens in the dashboard, once you've logged into WordPress, the admin section. Um, contextually, they will allow you to turn features on and off on each of these screens. So we're on the dashboard screen and let's say I don't want to see other WordPress news or the WordPress blog. Uh, let's say I never use Quick Press and I want to I want to see the rest of these. I can configure that collapse that little slide out window and now I have only the bare minimum that I want to see when I log into the dashboard. It will remember that. So let's look at another page. Let's go to posts. Posts and pages are, are used uh, very often and it doesn't seem like there's much to do here but if you pull down the screen options you can actually uh, see which of the columns in this table that you will see. So select the things that are most useful to you in these different uh, screen layouts. Let's go to pages. Same type of thing. We can turn on and off uh, those columns. Now let's go into a page. So this is the edit page. Looks very similar in posts when you're editing a post. And let's look at the options there. So most of these are fairly useful, but you'll see that underneath the actual edit box, uh, there's some things that I don't use very often. Um, let's turn off a couple of those. This happens to be a plugin that I that uh, I have installed, but I don't use all the time, so I'm going to turn it off. Now that box won't bother me. Let's turn off another one. So as you can see, once you get WordPress set up for your particular uh, working habits and workflow, the features that you'd like to have handy, um, it will stay there for you. Let's just do one more. Let's go over to Posts. And let's, look at, uh, let's go ahead and edit a post and look at the options there. Now, all of these are available to you if you want to turn them back on. But let's just see how that kind of economizes my space, okay? So as I said, um, these collapse and we can still reorder. So play around with the, the customization features here in WordPress on the dashboard. One other quick thing, this is a collapsible menu it'll collapse left to take up less real estate. Sometimes when you're using WordPress on a smaller screen it's a little easier to navigate when you don't have the menu taking up all the space and it's there to toggle on and off as you like. So that's a quick look at some of the WordPress customization features. Uh, get comfortable with the interface before you start editing. This is Brooke Drum with Vault Multimedia 
you can check out our podcasts at vaultmultimedia.com slash tutorials or visit us in iTunes and subscribe.